Hello everybody, Freemans here, bringing you another video. Today's video I'm doing is... Well, uh, Princess Tr Twilight Trixie's Particle, Episode 11, Betrayal. Which is a fan MLP fan-made uh, fan video by Magpie Pony. So, it's been a long time since we've seen this... Well, this whole series. But, it's finally here, the final finale. Let's see what it's about. Play button 3, 2, 1, play. Previously on Princess Trixie's Sparkle. I have a chance for something great, and I'm going to take it. Try and stop me now, Princess. Wait, what's going on? Ah! Ah! The future ruler of Equestria, Nightmare Lulamoon. I'm afraid there are secrets in my past that I have spent centuries trying to forget. For the first time in pony history, Star Swirl the Bearded chose an Earth Pony apprentice to carry on his legacy. That Earth Pony was Estelle. Uh. Estelle was given a unicorn horn in a grand ceremony in her honor that she would then use in her training. Mm. Star Swell presented Estelle to the ponies and announced her true calling as their queen. Mm. And his final gift to her were a magnificent pair of wings. Star Swell's plans came to an abrupt halt. Estelle rejected his proposal to take his place, fled the castle, abandoning her throne and the pony she ruled. Mm. It was the events of her reappearance that have haunted me all these years. But it is the source of my terrible mistakes. And the reason for her hatred of me now. No! no! Uh, what have you done? Such a perfect ending for the mighty Star Swirl the Bearded. Forever trapped in the form of a tree. In my anguish, I banish my sister into the tapestry and retrieve the amulet where she had stored this dangerous new power. Uh. You abandoned me, Shadow. You were my brother, my only real friend. I never stopped loving you. I never want to see you again. Your final test and demonstration of loyalty is to assist me in the destruction of this tree. This will allow you to see into my past so that you may understand why things must be the way they are. Hmm. Well, here we go. The betrayal. Her wisdom, benevolence, and grace will guide us into a bright future for all pony kind. I present to you, Queen Estelle. Well, they really liked it. <laughs> Hello, Star Swirl. I'm, I'm a queen. I'm a queen. Princess. Are these, are this is real. Are these real? Is this real? I assure you, mm. your wings and crown are as real as the destiny I have prepared you for. But why? You've never turned your apprentices into an alicorn before? Or um, a ruler? I think... Is this just because the king has left Equestria without an heir? Partially, though I suspect that is the way of one's destiny. It is? Oftentimes our fate is riddled with both the good and the bad. Both necessary to turn us into the selves we are meant to be. What if I mess up? What if I'm not wise or benevolent or graceful like you said? Have you seen how clumsy I can be? That's not graceful. That's the furthest thing from graceful. Trust in my prophecy, Estelle. If you believe yourself to be so, then you shall be. Though, there is one gift remaining that must be given before your training is completed. And what's that? But, but why? Come with me. This should be good. My dearest pupil, long have I waited for this day. Even before your birth I had seen the majesty of your reign and learned of the prosperity of your ponies. Equestria must always know such happiness. And with this final blessing, I hope to ensure it. The, oh, the element, element of, of harmony? harmony? With their power, I bestow upon you Eternal life. Ooh. Oh. 
Wow. I knew it. I knew it. Huh? I knew you felt the same way. Huh? All of those hours we spent and the magic we created, there was an obvious chemistry, but I just didn't want to admit it. I knew who you were and what you represented. And then there was me, this insignificant little pony, um, who just like all your other apprentices. So I started thinking of ways I could make you stay, you know? And then the war broke out and you relied on me and... What are you talking about? Yeah, what? Love! You love me, just like I love you! We're going to rule Equestria forever, right? You've made me immortal, just like you! We'll be the greatest rulers of our time! Uh, of all time! I've waited so long to tell you how I feel! Estelle, you're speaking nonsense. Uh, I'm an old stallion, worn and weary by the years I have lived. Which is why you needed a companion. I knew I was falling for you, and it's just like you said. So it's Estelle destiny. loves Your destiny Star is to Swirl. rule, and it is the one I have prepared you to face. With you? Alone. Oh. What? I trained you to take my place, Estelle. Take your place? But <laughs> what does that mean? It means I will finally be able to accept mortality and oh. pass on like all other ponies before me. Mm. You... you want to die? You're going to take up my mantle and continue my work. Perhaps even unlock the magic of the elements of harmony that I was unable to achieve. Mm. How? How will you die? Do not think of it as a death, my student, but as a release from centuries of weight and toil. This is why your training and ascension is as important as it is. But don't you see? Having me as a companion will fix all of that. It will? We won't have to be alone anymore. Estelle. We will rule and provide safety and security. And we'll have each other like we're meant to have. Estelle. You can't Let deny it, Stars Will. You can't Estelle. deny it. You haven't felt this. I'm giving you my heart, please. If you leave me, I'll be alone. You're letting your emotions get the better of you. Yes, you are. If I known you saw me as anything more than a mentor, I would have put a cease to it sooner. You're denying it? Denying me? You are prophesied to take my place, and it is your duty to make it so. Oh. So, you need mm. me. You need me to take your immortality. <sighs> there yes, you go. my dear student. Only you can finally set my soul free. <sighs> then... I won't. Huh? I won't do that. I won't let you leave me. You'll see. You'll see how much I love you and how good we can be together. Estelle? You'll see. We have all the time in the world now. Immortality with me is a blessing, not a curse. Oh my. Well, this backfired. Welcome back. Welcome back, Trixie. Do you understand now, little filly? You... were in love... with that wrinkly old stallion? I was young. I had the whole world in front of me, and he was the only stallion that paid me any attention. I didn't understand what love was. But when he spurned me as a companion and a pupil, it shattered my heart. When I first abandoned the castle, I hoped he would come after me and prove that I meant something to him. But, but... he didn't, and my sorrow turned to anger. Mm. I returned to Equestria to demand my immortality be stripped from me. But when I learned he had cursed my sister with it as well... But... Uh, why am I, I, I here? here? I fear my magic alone is not enough. I need the assistance of another Alicorn to destroy Star Swirl, releasing all those his magic still affects. Oh. All those it still affects? Wait, you're talking about Celestia and Luna? Correct. This will leave Equestria needing a new Alicorn to take their place as oh, leader. Oh dear. Princess Lulamoon. Alright, let's do it. No, don't do it! Oh no! <laughs> no! Finish him! No! Oh, what happened? What happened? What's going on out there, Spike? It's not too good. I think they've already started. Uh, we can't just sit here. We have to get out there. Yes. Uh. 
Even if we could get out, what could we possibly do? Hey, something's coming. It appears to be some kind of streak of light. Uh, it's coming for our magic! Whoa there, Vicky! Whoa there, Rarity! Get up! We don't have magic, AJ. Rarity. Watch out! What's going on? What's going on? What is it? Don't touch it! Oh. Pinky! Alright! Oh, it's so shiny! Pinky! Don't touch the beams! What? Celestia! Sister? You're free! She's free! Oh, Luna. Look! Her chains are gone! And it left this. Huh? Let's go! It looks like a signal. Like a... Who do you suppose let us free? What if it was the Tree of Harmony, uh, Star Swirl? Could maybe he isn't as dormant as we thought. Maybe he knows what Estelle's trying to do, and he wants us to stop it. Or it could do be you something. Think that's possible. Only one way to find out. Or it could be <laughs> Shadow. Going somewhere. Don't want to hurt you, Luna. Move! I won't let you hurt her. <sighs> Don't you get it? She's the cause of everything. She banished Estelle, and then you. She took the two ponies I cared about away from me, and now she's trying to do it again. I was afraid of her, afraid of what she could do to me. But now she's weak and helpless. This is my chance to take my own vengeance. You will not harm my sister. Ugh. It's her or me, Luna! I've already made my choice. I couldn't have been more clear. Celestia, I will always choose Celestia! Oh, You are uh. nothing more than a mere shadow. 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 What? What? <sighs> just... What just happened? Oh, the vines. Not the vines! Oh, thank goodness, the vines didn't work. I don't think it's working. We've been doing this forever, and the tree still isn't dying. Patience, my dear. The tree is weakening under our might. It is? Weakening isn't the same thing as dying. The elements aren't any less shiny either, see? Let's say we actually kill Star Swirl's tree thing. Doesn't mean the elements are gonna go with him. I don't think we can break those things. Without the tree to protect them, the elements will be exposed and susceptible. Oh. Why are you stalling? Why? Stalling? I'm not stalling. I'm just thinking out loud. Thinking. Very loud. Indeed. Wow, they got there fast. Waiting for the tree already looks like it's in bad shape, but they're just talking. Maybe they can't do it. Maybe they're too tired to continue. Maybe uh... I'm just saying. Why are we standing here and concentrating all this magic at this tree for hours on end? Isn't there a spell where you could like instantly kill it or something? That huh. figures. Trixie's looking for the easy way out again. <laughs> I grow tired of your questions, Trixie. If you believe you can destroy the elements any faster, then do so. But do it quietly. They're going after all the elements. We have to beat them to it. How? Hang on there, Rainbow. That little spat of theirs might be the cover we need to get a hold of them elements. Huh? If we're careful, we can snatch them from right under their noses. Ooh, good Let's plan, see. AJ. What? Uh oh. What exactly do you think you are doing? Yeah. Do you think this is a game? That I can be fooled with light shows and pointless questions? 
all leading to the fact that you refuse to assist me. Uh-oh. No. Well, not really. I just uh, wasn't uh, ready. Ready for what? What's that? Uh-oh. Let's start. Ow, those might be pointy vines. What are you doing? Prove to me your loyalty, Trixie. I want to watch you attack the tree on your own. Oh. No. Huh? Uh-oh. What's the point in ruling Equestria if it means every pony will hate me? I took your gemstone because I thought if I was twilight, Ooh, a uncle, heart tear. I the one thing I always wanted but never had. Friends! Don't you get it? I only pretend to be great and powerful so that other ponies would like me, but they don't. I thought the only way that I could feel good again was if I got revenge against Twilight for ruining any chance I had at making friends. I wanted her to hurt. Oh. Uh-oh. That, whoa, that animation. Like that was cool. <laughs> ruined my reputation across Equestria. That animation, though. Is, she tried to befriend me. She was willing to put the past behind us, even after everything I had done. And I was too stupid to accept it. I messed up. So now I have to fix this. I have to stop you. Even if that meant giving you back the stupid amulet. Oh. Love the animation. It's so cool. You, yourself. you need me. And since this is the only magic that works, I pretended to be on your side so that you would give it to me. Now I can reverse everything you've done. Oh. Oh. You dare turn against me. Uh oh. You have seen <laughs> the might of my power and watched as I laid waste to your princesses and your little comrades, and yet you still defy me. Come on, Trixie! Uh oh, Trixie! You fool! You dim-witted, selfish little fool! All you have done is waste my time. Trixie! Whoa! I should be thanking you, Trixie. I believed my magic alone was not enough to destroy him. And yet the tree and its elements die before your eyes. Though I suppose it will have to wait. I let the last pony who betrayed me live. Who was that? <laughs> oh, Celestia. I won't make the same mistake twice! Oh no! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Trixie! If I alone must rid this world of magic and restore order and peace, then so be it. Not you, not Celestia, not even Star Swirl can stand in my way. Maybe not, but I bet they can. Careful! I don't think so. Shadow! <laughs> Leave him alone, you monster! Ah, you must be the princess of friendship that I've heard so much about. You may have power, Estelle, but your magic will never be able to combat the magic of friendship! No, not again. Huh? What? It's not working! Why isn't it working? It will! We just have to try harder! Come on, girls! Time keeping this up, Twa! It has to work! It's always worked! 
come on! <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Darn, it didn't work. No! <laughs> so much for the magic of friendship. Darn. It's so amusing that you all believed that would work. I spent centuries combating the magic from the elements of harmony. Wait, what? Molding my dark power to annihilate it. Although, I would hate to see you ponies so disappointed in your mediocre light show. It you what? deserve a true display of great magic. Oh. Perhaps a demonstration of what exactly will become of those who betray me. Uh-oh. Trixie! <laughs> it took her powers! Oh no. Oh no. Voices. Stop! Make it stop! This must be nightmares. Can't face the truth, Trixie. Fight it, Trixie! Fight it! What is this place? Your new home. Where you can reflect on the deeds you have done that caused you to end up. Here. Fight it, Trixie! Not true. It's all wrong. You kidnapped Twilight. You put her in that cell. You lied to all those ponies. You couldn't make your own friends. Fight it! You weren't even talented. No pony likes you. No pony likes you. You had a chance to be great, powerful, respected. But you threw it all away. Was it worth it? Trixie, fight it! You've got just to fight it! To make yourself feel better? Trying to steal somebody else's life because yours is so empty and useless. Stop! Please! Fight it! You left her here to rot. You. Some pony who supposedly wanted to make friends. Monster, traitor, terror. How could you? Disgrace, empty, empty. It wasn't hard to convince you that you could have what you wanted. You were so eager to trust me. Yet even when you believed you had me all figured out, you failed to realize what my true intention was all along. To destroy magic. All magic. You would have ended up useless anyway. Because even my magic will be destroyed. But you'll still be here. Still trapped. What? what Huh? Your magic will be destroyed too? What did you expect? I want to rid the world of magic and set things the way they should be. I have no desire to keep my own. But... You made me out of your magic. Uh, Won't that... You don't think I'd keep you around, do you? <gasps> You're the embodiment of everything I hate. The magic that courses through you is a physical manifestation of how much I loathe it even in myself. Oh. Your disappearance would be a burden lifted. Burden? <gasps> but I did everything for you. I followed you without question. I turned against Luna for you. I even freed you from the tapestry. I got myself out of the tapestry. That foolish Draconicus's seeds drained enough power from the tree that the magic that bound me was weakened. Oh. Celestia and Luna being taken created the perfect opportunity for my escape. It did? But you made me. 
How can you say you don't care? <laughs> She's evil, Shadow! I've never cared. <gasps> What's going on? Still, what, what are you doing to me? Still, tell me why. Tell me why. Still, I. I Fight it back, Shadow! No! Shadow! <laughs> now, where were we? Oh my god. You finally understand, don't you? <laughs> you have nothing. And you are nothing. And no pony will ever forgive you. I forgive you! Trixie! Trixie, can you hear me? I forgive you! Trixie, I forgive you! Huh? Are we getting a song already? What's Triumph in the end Because friendship is much stronger Than the trials we will face oh. Not too late no, not too late To be your friend To be my friend To save the day And make things right again Not too late no, not too late To forgive And we forgive It's so. Is that supposed to be a Trixie's harmony element? Oh, that's cool. No, no, friendship is magic for every pony. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm actually crying a little. It, it broke it. The horn! The wings! We did it! We did it! Twilight? Twilight? Huh? Twilight, can you hear me? They're back! Spike? Their voices are back! Spike! They're in their own bodies! Oh, so good to see you <laughs> They did it! You too, Twilight. <laughs> What? What is it? My tail! My mane! My horn! Oh, thanks, Celestia! They're back! Wings. I have wings again! Yep, Rainbow's back! And... And AJ! Oh, wait! It feels Ooh. good to be home! It does! Hey, Applejack, I think this is yours! <laughs> oh. Aww! I'm me! 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 The enemy's an enemy! Where's Trixie? Uh, oh, hey. So, about that whole tricking you into thinking I turned evil again thing. Uh, didn't you even 
even listen to our song? Yeah. It was so beautiful and epic. It was. Did you forget? <laughs> yeah, how could well, you? Even so, I wanted to at least say the words, I'm sorry, so that you know I meant it. Well, we we've... Know, Trixie. Even the Tree of Harmony knows. Otherwise, it wouldn't have given you that element. That's true. Do you think Star Swirl's still alive in there? I don't know. But wherever or whatever he is, I hope he's at peace now. Yeah. What happened to Estelle? What? You ponies gave her what she wanted. And that was... Mortality. That's right. The elements of Harmony were able to reverse the spell Star Swirl had placed on her and destroyed the amulet that harnessed her dark power. Mm. The things recently affected by that power were also made right again. <laughs> yeah, we figured that out. Yeah. I'm never walking anywhere ever again. Did you say recently affected? The magic she used on you ponies and on my sister and I was reversed. Yay! The effects of her magic may still linger in Equestria. Oh. The Everfree Forest remains unchanged, mm. as it was corrupted by her power for centuries. Oh, really? Magic like that can't be dissipated overnight. Mm. But it will reverse, right? Perhaps, given time. But if Estelle is an Earth Pony now, where did she go? Yeah. I imagine that my sister is fleeing this place, and probably Equestria. I know how dark and twisted she had become over time, but I still hope she can find peace and happiness mm. as an Earth Pony. At least we know she can't do any more damage. So... now what? What happens after you all beat the bad guy and save the day? Oh... Uh, <laughs> we throw a party! Of uh, course! Cool. Yeah, it's... Nice transition there, Pinkie Pie! Whoa, new new glass mirror. Nice, and Trixie's in it! Oh, that's beautiful. Woo, party! Every pony is asking for you. You have quite a few new fans and friends who want to celebrate. They do! How can you stand all that noise all the time? Seriously! The pink one? Pinky. Your friend's name is Pinky. 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 She has more magic than all of us combined. Have you seen what comes out of her mane? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the hard eyes again. Do you think we'll see her again? I don't think so. She got what she wanted, and now she knows that nothing can beat elemental magic. That's it true. would be foolish to try something now. Mm -hmm. Do you think she wants to be forgiven? Or that she wants to forgive Celestia and Star Swirl? Uh... Maybe. But that many centuries of hatred and bitterness doesn't just disappear overnight. It does not. I guess that means I was lucky, huh? Very lucky. <laughs> the again, eye wink. I think you would know the answer to that better than I would. You what? Me? You are the element of forgiveness. Oh, that, wait, wait, what? Does that what? mean I should be called the Great and Forgivable Trixie? Or maybe the Forgiveness Powered Trixie? Trixie, oh, this just, just stop. <laughs> or, um, just how about uh, just Trixie? Trixie? Just Trixie? Trixie? But that's so. so boring. Really? You might as well call me Twilight Sparkle. Trixie! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're back at the tree again. Who'd have thought that oh, so and the animation again is so me. good. I tried too hard to show I'm great that wasn't meant to be. It's not a lesson easily learned when you find you are wrong, but they never gave up hope. Was inside me all along. Look at me now, I'm glowing. See the light of friendship in my eyes, how it shines. I know with my friends I am home. I have found my purpose in life. <laughs> 
years more than bad or good. The past may sting and leave a scar on those misunderstood. But it wasn't till I gave up trying to claim a victory that I realized love would come along and finally set me free. Look at me now, I'm glowing. See the light of friendship. Song, Trixie. Way to go. Way to go, make by pony. Oh my god, I'm so beautiful. Way to go, make by. Great work on his on his fan made fan made. Good job. Good job on the animation and all everything who helped you with the animations. Good job. This makes it just actually crying right now. It's so good. Don't wish that okay let's do with them. Animation. By Tech Spooky, that one. And oh, by Silver Ring, who did that animation? Wonder what's gonna if Shadow will ever come back. That is a pretty picture. Wow, wow, wow! I am speechless. This was amazing. That actually brought tears to my eye with those two songs. Wonderful job, Magpie Pony and your artists. Way to go. Best, fina best finale I ever seen of any fan-made episodes. That was incredible. First off, those songs were so touching. It blew my mind how touching they were. And I really feel bad for Shadow how Estelle betrayed him. That was mean in so many levels, but still, that final scene letting Estelle 
lose her wings and horn. That was cool. That was freaking cool. And, um... I'm glad Trixie's back to nor back good on a good side now. And getting part of the Tree of Harmony in that. That was... That was... Beautiful. Magpie, you brought a brony to tears from this one final finale. I am impressed with you. But for now, like, comment, subscribe for more. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll be doing this and other MLP fandom videos. Till next time, this is Final Blitz finally from Princess Trixie Sparkle, episode 12 on 11 Betrayal, the finale. Till next time. Good job, Trixie. You did amazing. Bye.